How is it going everybody Mr. Android here? Well recently Samsung has released few updates for the GoodLock application and also we have a brand new module added to the GoodLock family. With that being said, in today's video, let's check out all the updates related to this amazing application. Guys, it's going to be a very interesting video, so stay tuned and watch this video till the very end. Also, let's aim for 1500 likes on this video. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first thing first, let's talk about Quickstar. This module has recently got a big update. So if you haven't updated this particular module, all you have to do is just tap on this Galaxy Store icon and from here you can easily update the module. Since I have already updated the Quickstar, I am not able to see the update option anymore. Once you're done, now open Quickstar and right away you will notice this new option called as Style Your Own Quick Panel. If you just go inside, here you can customize your quick panel with different colors and designs with the help of Theme Park. Well, this feature was already there in OneUI 2.0, but for some reasons, Samsung has removed it from OneUI 3.0. I am glad they have added it back again with this new update. Now to use this feature, you will need to install one more module called as Theme Park. Simply go inside Theme Park, select Quick Panel and start customizing your notification panel. You can add different colors, increase or decrease the blur effect and make your quick panel look amazing. So that's all we have from the quick panel. Next, let's talk about one brand new module which is Routine Plus. Basically, it's like an extension to Bixby routines that we already have in all Samsung phones. What it does is, it adds some additional advanced features for Bixby routines so you can make more useful tasks. If you are someone who like using Bixby routines more often, then I am sure you are going to love this module. As you can see, we have 4 new routines added to this module. I will be explaining each one of them so stay tuned and watch this video till the end. Also, we have this share option called as share via QR code, export or import routines. If you have any routine saved on your phone, you can easily export it or share it to your friends via QR code. I think it's very useful. Now let's go ahead and see all these routines one by one. First we have location based quick access. What it does is, it lets you set a button or a key to open any app when you press it while you are in a particular location. Basically, it allows you to assign different actions to these physical buttons on your phone while you are in a particular location. As you can see, we have if and then condition. For example, I will select volume up button and interaction type will be double tap. Now the app I would like to open is the Spotify application. Once it's done, whenever I double press on the volume button, it will open up my Spotify. Well, all the routines that you are going to create in this module will also be available in Bixby routines that you find in your phone settings. Next we have run a touch macro. What it does is, it lets you record a series of touch actions. All you have to do is, select the app in which you want to record your touch actions and then tap on this record button. Now it will start recording all the touches on your screen and then you can save it by giving a name. This will be saved on your home screen and if you press on the start button, it automatically shows all the touch actions that we have just created. Next is fingerprint to unlock. Basically, it lets you open any favorite website of yours whenever you unlock your phone with your fingerprint. This is very simple. You can use one finger to unlock your phone and register the other finger to open any website. For example, if I use my thumb, it will unlock my phone. But if I use this finger, it will unlock my phone as well as it will immediately open one of my favorite website. Finally, we have low battery announcement. It's very easy to explain. Basically, it gives you voice alert whenever your phone battery is low. So you can set a particular battery level and if your phone battery goes down the level that you have set, then you will get a voice alert asking you to charge your battery. So that's pretty much it guys, Routines Plus module is super useful and if you are already using Bixby Routines on your phone, then I am sure you will love using this module. So I will highly recommend you to try out this new module. I was able to install in both of my devices which is Galaxy A52 and the Galaxy S21 Plus. So that's pretty much it guys. If you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.